Hey YouTube, Freedom for Cash here, and I'm going to be making a video on the stock market today and the bailout of Greece. Now, I don't know how many of you heard, but there was a bailout this morning. It, opened, it, it happened, I do believe, before the stock market opened, and the stock market today went up 400 points on the false pretense that things were getting better. Now, the reason why I say false pretense is because Greece got a $1 trillion bailout. Okay, they just printed money out of thin air. The EU, the United States, and Canada, and a whole bunch of other countries got together and they created a one trillion dollar basket of money and they gave it to Greece and they said, There you go. Now, I understand that people think that that's a good thing. Actually, it's not a good thing. And let's go into that. There's going to be four links underneath, right down there, and the first thing I noticed when I was doing my research is that on Fox News, a lot of people said that they were in shock and awe. They were in shock about the bailout and how it helped the stock market and how it helped Greece possibly get back on their feet. And they were in awe in a good way because they were like, oh, look at that. The stock market's going up. Oh, look at that. We're solidifying the financial market and the world markets. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. No, it, that's not what's happening. It's not what's happening at all. Okay. Now, I also read about the U.S. Federal Reserve. They gave an undisclosed amount in this bailout. They would not release how much money that they gave to them. But one thing that they said is that if Greece didn't get this bailout and continued doing business the way that they were going, they were have to be removed from the EU. Now, being removed from the EU isn't something that they want to do over there because they want as many countries in the EU as they possibly can get. All right. Now, the reason for that is it's not about financial markets. It's about control. It's all about control, controlling the market, controlling the monetary system, controlling everything that they possibly can. So by losing a country would actually be a bad thing in their whole scheme of things. Now, like I said, the U.S. gave an undisclosed amount of money, but they did say that Canada gave $30 billion towards the bailout. Okay. But the Fed, again, released a statement saying, it buys us time. We don't know if $1 trillion is even going to be enough. Okay, so why give a country a trillion dollars if you're not even sure if it's going to be enough? I don't understand their point. They're bailing out this country. They're bailing out these people. And they're saying, all right, we don't know how much they're going to need. We really don't know how much it's going to take to get them to get where they need to be. Okay, first of all, doing it through a bailout isn't the right way to do it. Okay? We've got to come to a point in time and say, all right, enough is enough. That's it. Enough is enough. Now, another, another report I was watching on or reading on Fox News is that, and, and, I, and I don't understand this one, it says everyone cheered and applauded the bailout. Well, I don't think everybody did because I know that as an American, our tax dollars went into that bailout. So now, essentially, every American is a stock owner in Greece, okay? I didn't necessarily want to own a part of Greece, okay? I don't want it, I don't need it, I don't care about it, I'll never be there, I'll never go there. It's just a bad deal all the way around. Now, here's another thing is that I don't understand is the fact that why do we have to do this? Why do we have to worry about other countries? Why? Are we doing all this stuff when we've got major problems here in the United States, but we're worried about the EU? And here's another funny thing that I, I can't seem to figure out, is that the EU currency and the United States dollar are in competition with each other. When the EU goes, dollar goes up, the American dollar goes down. They're in constant battle with each other. So by, you, so by the United States giving them a bailout, we actually weaken the dollar a little bit. Because we pop up the EU, um, um, the EU currency, which is the euro. So, and here's, you know, I, I just don't, I just don't totally understand the whole deal. I don't understand why all these governments got together. I mean, you know, they're saying, oh, we're going to save the world, you know, by bailouts, this and that. Well, that's not, that's not what's going to happen. Okay, and for all of you other people who, who don't follow the politics as well, this is actually the second bailout that Greece has gotten this week. This is the second bailout they've gotten in the last seven days. 
Last week, Greece got a bailout for a $142 billion equivalent to the U.S. currency. Okay, now I'm not saying that the U.S. bailed them out. Okay, but they received a bailout that was equal to $142 billion American. Whatever that would be in, in euros, I know it'd be, it may be like 102 billion perhaps to the euro is worth more than the American dollar. So like 102, 103 billion dollar euro bailout. So this is the second bailout they've gotten in, in seven days. Okay. So again, you know, I, I just don't understand, you know, you people who, who are going to watch this video try to understand and try to figure out what's going on. I know it's frustrating that our American tax dollars are now headed towards Europe. Okay, I, I don't understand. You know, maybe we just need to knock on someone's head and say, Hey, do you understand what's going on here? Do you understand? McFly, hello? And, I, you know, I, I I just want to close with this. Okay, I've been on YouTube for a while now. I've started making videos for a while now. And I, I, I don't sound very upset. I don't want to lash out and do a video, but I, I am. I, I, I'm very upset about this. You know, our tax dollars are going to help other countries. Our, our tax dollars have gone out to help other people. And Obama keeps on saying that the bailout is working. The bailout is going to create jobs. I don't see it. You can do your own research. You won't, you won't find the numbers. The numbers are false. The numbers are, are fixed. And I'm sure you guys agree. But here's one thing that I want to say. When is enough going to be enough? When are you going to stand up and say, I'm tired of this? When are you going to stand up and say, no more? When are you going to draw that line in the sand and say, no more? No more. What I want to do is I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you folks out there. Now, I've been making videos now for a while, and I've been voicing my opinion. But there's some of you out there who haven't made a video yet. And you've been on here longer than I have and you still don't have a video. But yet you claim to be angry. Well, why don't you make a video and let's see just how angry you are. I challenge you, each and every one of you who don't have a video yet, to make a video. Let me see how angry you are. Show the world how angry are you because people were sitting on our hands. or not doing anything about it. Okay? Peter Schiff had a video out today It said it's just a matter of time before the United States ends up like Greece because the bailout's not going to work. What's going to happen when they start raising taxes? What's going to happen when they start cutting Social Security? What's going to happen when they start cutting out Medicaid and Medicare for the senior citizens? And what's going to happen when we're going to start paying back, paying back this debt to China because they keep on buying it? What's going to happen when all this falls in together? Are you going to be prepared? Are you going to be ready? How mad are you? I want to know. Make a video. you got to let the people know how angry you are. I'm pretty angry. This is your challenge. I want to know how angry you are.